This is amazing. Now we have extra features in Task Weaver. We are able to upload file and also able to do exploratory data analysis and create lots of charts like these. I asked a few questions and asked it to create charts and it created charts like this. Population trends by continent, average population density by continent, highest and lowest population growth rates and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Taskweaver user interface. I'm also going to show you how to create plugins such as internet search plugin. Using this, you are able to search internet, get latest information, and also able to retrieve the latest research articles. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so that this video can be helpful for many others like you. I have already covered beginner's tutorial in regards to Taskweaver, both using CLI and also user interface. I will link those in the description below. As a quick summary, just git clone Taskweaver. Then we are going to navigate to that folder. Just open that folder in VS Code. This is the folder structure. Go into the project folder. There is Taskweaver config.json. Click that file. Make sure you enter your API base, API key and model name. You can even use open source large language model. I've already covered that in a separate video. And also I've covered how to create a plugin from scratch in a separate video, which I will link those in the description below. So change the API base, API key and the model name according to what open source model you're using. If you're using ChatGPT, just use these details. Then save it. Once that is done, go back to your terminal. In your terminal, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. Next, pip install duckduckgo search and unstructured and then click enter. We are going to use this to search internet. Now you can navigate to the playground folder and then inside UI. CD playground slash UI and click enter. There's one more package which you need to install that is pip install chainlit equals and then version. You can even just install without a version as well and then click enter. Chainlit is required for the application to run. Now I'm going to start the application by typing chainlit run app.py and then click enter. Now I can see the application is running in this URL, localhost 8000. I'm going to navigate to that URL and this is the task viewer interface. Now we are able to upload files and then analyze accordingly. I've uploaded world population data set and I'm going to ask it to do perform EDA on this data. That is exploratory data analysis. It gives us information about what this data contains. And I can see it's going the initializing plan and then performing the plan. And then it's going to do one by one. This is a code first framework. That means it's more focused on coding perspective, analysis perspective. Here I can see it's creating its own code and then running it to analyze the data. Same like code interpreter in chat GPT. I can see that it's going through step one by one and plotting the graph for us. I'm going to open this image in a new tab so that we can zoom in and see. You can see the population in different years. Next, I'm going to ask these questions. Population trends by country, highest and lowest population rates, correlation between population and economic indicators, and much more. I'm going to ask it to plot charts for all about. And then I'm going to click enter. Now I can see it's creating the plan for us. This is more in depth if you want to analyze a data. It is going to do all the things which I asked for. It is going to generate the code, perform the request, and then give us the answer for that. And finally, I got the answer here. Top 10 highest population growth rates, population trends by region, top 10 lowest population growth rates, average population density by region, and much more. I'm really excited about this. Now we are going to see how we can create a search plugin which can search internet. To do that, I'm going to go back to my terminal, cancel the current request, go into the VS Code file editor. Inside the project folder, there is a folder called plugins. That's where you can integrate your plugin. I've already covered how to create stock price, which I will link that in the description below. Now we're going to create a file called internetsearch.py and then internetsearch.yaml and then click enter. Now first, we are going to create the application using internetsearch.py. First, import requests. Next, DuckDuckGo search. Next, plugin and register plugin. 
then import OS and JSON. Then we are going to import partition HTML required to parse the imported website data. Now we are going to create the register plugin decorator and then create a class called internet search plugin. There you are actually searching maximum two results using DuckDuckGo search and it will return the URL, a short description about the page. That is the meta description. Now we are going to get that URL and going to scrape the website URL using browser.io. So this scrape website function will use the browser.io API, get the content and then return the content. That's it. Next coming to the internet search dot yaml file first we are going to provide the function name that is internet search it's enabled and required as false providing the description for that then we are adding the parameters then finally we are mentioning what it's going to return so it is going to return a dictionary containing the url and the scraped content a quick definition for the large language model to use that's it now we have created a plugin now we're going to run this coming back to our terminal make sure you export your browserless api key like this and then click enter now we're going to run chainlit run app.py and then click enter. This will automatically open our interface. Now I'm going to search, find the latest events in New York, February 2024 and then click enter. I can see it's using the plugin which you have just added. I can see that it did go through those websites, got those content and finally we got a response. Similarly, I created one more plugin called latestpapers.py and latestpapers.yaml. Latestpapers.py will use the archive.org API to retrieve the latest five research articles. And we are defining about the latest papers function in latestpapers.yaml. I asked for search the latest papers in regards to AI. Then it went through the request and got me these five results and linked to those paper. This is how it works. When a user sends a query, it uses a large language model and creates subtasks. Then each subtask is again sent to the large language model then it's going to use the plugins if it's required and then finally return the response. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.